It was uh, CBGB, probably 1986. It was um, my friend's band Caligula played with New York Hoods, Sheer Terror, and Whiplash. And it was just such a different, um, different scene than what I was used to, rather than going to like Lemoore's or the Sundance. And I was one of the only uh, long haired guys there. So it was interesting watching all the skinheads uh, you know, slam and everything. And then over the years, I got to uh, be addicted to hardcore and go to as many shows as I possibly could. Probably have to go with either Lemoore's or the Sundance. Lemoore's, I went to probably more times than any venue. And the Sundance, I played a lot in the 80s. I loved that place. The old Ritz on 11th. If you go to Brooklyn, their trash bar had a good vibe. And then if you go across the street, they had Grand Victory, which did a lot of good hardcore punk matinees in, in its later days. Uh, wow, I'd have to go with either Gallo or Stigma. Gallo is just hilarious. And Stigma is that old school Italian who's funny as hell without even trying. One of my favorite bands of all time, the Crumb Suckers, did their reunion at BB King's. And I couldn't make that show for whatever reason. And it really, uh, really pissed me off. Brooklyn or Queens? <laughs> Queens all day. There was a show, it was actually at the Sundance. The lineup was the Crumb Suckers, Breakdown, Crackdown, Super touch and in your face. That was chaos from the first chord to the last chord. I mean, I could say the names that everybody says all the time. You have like Armand, you have Mackey, you have Pokey. And then one guy, also a good friend that, he, I don't know why he doesn't get mentioned as much as he does, but Danny Shula. You know, Danny's a monster. Veronica Bellino, Life of Agony, killer drummer. Danny, Gnostic Front, killer drummer. Spike from DRI, Chuck from the Crumb Suckers, Billy and Bobby, Biohazard have some good stuff going on. Matt and Jeff, Sworn Enemy, also I like their, their riffs and everything. Matt, uh, Matt's a good lead player. Um, I also want to say, you know, uh, Joey Z, not only is he a great songwriter and performer, but he's probably got the best sound that I've ever heard. And you got guys like Pete Kala. I don't know how he doesn't hit bad notes the way he runs around like that. Gets me tired just watching. Jason Banks. Jason played in Shia Terror, Cause for Alarm. And then um, a very good friend of mine who we joke every day is uh, Mike Gibbons from Leeway. Great player, even though he sucks. <laughs> I've been a fan of theirs, you know, since the early 80s. I still have Victim in Pain on cassette. And then you get to, to meet the guys over the years, and then all of a sudden you're asked to fill in on a tour with them. So it was a good feeling having, um, you know, my hard work pay off where people wanted me to uh, play with them. And it was just an all-around great experience traveling with them, and they treated me like I've been in a band for years. A lot of laughs, a lot of, you know, all respect and everything. They're, they're great. Don't let social media dictate your life. Whatever you choose to do in life, just do your best and focus on getting yourself to the next level. And don't let people influence you or talk to you about you know, politics, religion, race, skin color, sexual orientation. That, that's all arguments that never end. Just do your own thing and whatever you want to do in life, just focus on it and do your best. Nah, no, nah, definitely not because Every time you turn around, there's, there's a hardcore fest or a, a show here, a show there. In, in a month, you could go to seven or eight different hardcore shows. And the only thing I wish that the promoters would get together a little more 
and work together where they don't book a show in Jersey and a book a show in Brooklyn or Manhattan and Long Island just so everybody could go see their favorite bands and not miss out on on shows they want to see.